Oh, man. Whew. I'll tell you. My legs aren't what they used to be. You know, the funny thing is, though, I said early on that I wrote this book for myself. But it's amazing what happened to me. I went all over the country reading my book at bookstores, different events. When it first came out, July and August, September. And something happened to me that I had no idea. Because again, I've been 23 years straight, and my career has kept me pretty busy. I'd read these books. I'd read from my memoir. And then there'd be this line of people waiting in line to get a copy and to have me sign it. And every place I went, I saw these broken parents. Uh, and they're, they're, I'll never forget this, this couple in their mid to late 40s. Just you could see the pain in their face. When they got to me, the wife had a picture of her daughter. She was a tennis star in high school. Got a Division I athletic scholarship for tennis. She had a knee operation. The doctor gave her OxyContin. She's in prison now. She went from Oxys to working on the streets for heroin. She's in prison. I re I'll never forget a time that I was watching in this line. There's this big rugged guy. And he's waiting. He's waiting his turn, waiting his turn. And I'm trying to talk to these people. And of course, the, the book um, store owners wanted to keep moving, keep moving, keep moving, because of the line. They want to sell the book. So I'm making eye contact with this guy, big rugged guy, 45-ish, and he comes to me and he hands me this piece of paper that's been folded maybe 500 times. He's read this thing. And he puts it in front of me and he says, what do you think of that? And I started reading it. It, it, it was about a surgical implant in the brain that would stop the compulsion for these drugs. And I like didn't know what to say. I looked up at this guy, I saw the pain. He was ready to take his life savings he was a construction worker. And to go get this for her son, who was hooked on Oxycontins. And the amazing thing what I found is now I speak. I speak all over the place. I went to an, a speech in, in, in Boston last week. I walked in. There were 80 people, parents, in the room whose sons and daughters have been affected by this. I, there was one lady there who lost three kids. There was a guy there who lost his son. It's an incredible, the Oxycontin problem is amazing. And I, the, the thing that gave, gives me hope, I realize that I wrote this book for them also. They get to see a guy like me that was completely devastated down at the lowest part of life that everybody has given up. And here I am standing here talking that I made it out of it. So they're, they're buying my book. So in this discovery, I found out that this book is helping a lot of people that have sons and daughters who are affected by this scourge out there of Oxycontin all over the place. So I just want the word to get around. Tell anybody you know as a son and daughter, pick up the book. It'll give them hope. And that's all we need is hope when we have a situation like this.